Good evening, Interworld. Sergeant Slack here from Banana Bomb Productions, welcoming you back to this episode three of Sim City. Uh, we're back in Minecraftia as the day dawns, nearly, on a new uh, day. Yes. Oh, look at that! Look at the moon. Where is the moon? Do you know? I've never looked up in Sim City before. There's a moon. There's some attempts at stars. There's some other places that are going to happen over there. We've got the mountains. And we've got our city. So, I've not really played since the last episode. Uh, because I want you guys to see everything that happens. But I have just been sat here watching my city go. Uh, in the last episode, we added a police station. Uh, and the jail cells are almost full. They need more. So, since we've got loads of money while I've been sat here watching it, let's give them some more. Let's build jail cell on the ground floor and build it right up here near the road so then it's imposing so people are like oh my god there's lots of jail cell nests and then we'll give them some more patrol cars just to help help them out so where are we up to we've got power we could maybe use a little more power uh, because what we're going to do is upgrade our coal mine Water, we've still got loads of. Sewage, we're dealing with. And we've got an excess, that's good. Uh, government, we could actually plop down our utilities. Hmm. Got, yes. New development module, so what can we do? We can add these. Education. I'm not going to go too much in for education here. Someone else can do that. Finance. Tax levels independently. That's useful for happiness as you get a bit further down the line. Safety. We can do bigger ones of those. Uh, tourism. We're not going to do that. Transportation. We're not going to do that. And utilities. I think utilities we're going to need shortly. So... Uh, yeah, let's start with utilities. Boom. There we go, we have a department of utilities. So that means we can do much better things when it comes to other stuff. And they were asking us in our last one to do something about our coal mine, which is currently closed because it's full on storage. In which case, we're gonna need a trade depot. I wanna upgrade this first though, so then I know how much space. I'm gonna need. Oh, uh, not that much. That's good. One there, and one there. I can have four though. So let's up production somewhat. So then it looks like I'll be able to um, be full of coal. So you need a delivery truck, don't you? Uh, delivery trucks all kept inside of it nicely like that. So we're not going to overreach ourselves too much. We're going to do that. And then we're going to come down here a little and build... Owie. Owie, 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 owie. <laughs> no, I didn't hurt myself. I was just having a concern. Hmm. Could do with some more industry, really. We've got high industrial demand. And I want stuff to be on the main road. So I don't really want to be knocking down other industrial stuff just yet. Rubbish dump, uh, recycling. Da, 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 da. So yes, we are actually going to build right down this end. Big, sprawling trade depot. I was going to build it over people though. Nope, I'm mean, changed my <laughs> changed my mind already. So we're going to go specialization. I'm going to get a trade depot up and running. What's that? That's one that needs something? Yeah, my storage is full. Good, okay. So, let's have one of these. Um, why are we going to build it though? I'm going to build too close to my coal mine. But I am going to build it right next door. So we've now got a trade depot, which will bring things in. So we're going to edit it straight away. I'm going to put the sign on, because you've got to have the sign then. You've got to have the sign. So I have a truck, as it's not much. 
I'm going to add another truck because they don't cost too much and they really help. Uh, small warehouse accepts freight shipments from local industry. Doesn't have a place to ship its freight right now. Yeah, yeah, we're gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's freight. So what we want to do is coal, actually. I'm going to put it on this side so they can basically just lump it in from where they are. Coal, and we'll have another freight, and we're going to go all out. And have the trucks for the capacity as well. So that's our first trade depot installed. We now have access. Information. Oh, are you going to tell me about it? With this trade depot, we can trade with the global market. Just add a storage module to the resource you want to trade, and so that I've already done that. Come on, keep up. Resource trucks will blah, 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 blah. Good, so now we've got coal mine right next to trade depot. We've got freight and trade. So we need a bit more industry, really. So I kind of need to fix up the roads over this end of town. Um, power can stay where it is for the time being. But we do need... We've just got a few big factories at the moment. I don't want to just have a few big factories. I'm going to have another trade depot somewhere. Maybe down here at the opposite end. And then... I'm going to plop this road down, actually, before we go any further. Because it, otherwise it's... Nope, don't do that. Shh. That bit, of the, that bit of the game doesn't exist. If you guys are wondering, this is the region view. So you can see all your other cities over here. Petrol Bay. So these are all the other ones we're going to conquer in this playthrough. Uh, but for the meantime, I want to just get this one up and running and running well. Okay, so, uh, Diaz. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to road, wasn't I? I was. I was going to road. I'm going to road from right next to my trade. Oh, no, because I want to be able to expand my trade depot. Rua. Rua. Whoa, don't square. Just straight. Just give me straight. That's all I want. Yeah, new. Right up to the boundary. And then along the edge of the boundary, I'm going to put you in. And then... Yeah, I think I can go back with my coal storage and my trade depot so I don't need too much of it. So there, then we're going to repeat what we've got going on down this end. Um, yep, that's what I want. Well done, game. So that gives me that there, and then I can have one there. And we'll only just do one in the middle, but what's that going to lead to? What's that going to lead to indeed? Great, smooth enough terrain for road. Oh no! Shazbat. Put you in. And then we'll put you in. What about you? Can you do? You can't do. You can do to there though. I really want you to be connected to that main road. That's so annoying. Do you. I can't do that, can I not? And I can't do that. I know I can do that. That's good. Do that. Good. So now we've got a little district staked out there. Which I may well be destroying at some point to turn into a trade depot. I'm really not impressed with the way it doesn't link on down here. Urgh. If only I'd have known, I might have moved that into a different place. Yes. Good, so what do you want? What do you want? The streets aren't safe, hire more police. I will do it. So how do I hire more police? <laughs> police station. Well, more police has got to mean more cars, right? So let's have more cars. There we go. Oh good, that was actually what you wanted. What do you want? Have a thousand rapid and plop a house for myself, Mayor. Okay. And 2,000 
Maxis Manor. Haven't done Maxis Manor, so we can put it over right by the police. I oh, know Maxis Manor is like 40k, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have that. We're not up to Maxis Manor stage yet. We want to stay profitable in the. Uh, how are we doing? So, manage global. So, we've got two coal. So, export. Okay. Let's get some coal shipping. And our freight lots are empty. So, we want to repeat what we've got over here in terms of zoning. We want to have... Yeah. Mm, that's really going to become a problem once I connect it up. Isn't it? Isn't it just? Mmm. So we're going to have Maxis Manor here. So let's do a bit more roadage. Uh, you. Low density. Everything low density to begin with. So, yeah. You. And you. And you. And then connect you up. And watch the traffic problems start. So I can actually... It depends how big that's going to be. I'm not going to do that for the time being. So, in here, we're going to have... I found it's bad to have commercial next to your big main roads because the simulation... There is... A, that's the, the mind-boggling thing about this game, man. Is the glass box software that they're using. The simulation is so intense. Like, if I've, I've put... My first one, I did one big main road and then just put shops all along it, and man, that just ruined traffic congestion. Because people are pulling over and pulling into the shops, and it just ruined it. Hmm. Slurp a tea there. And right, so what, what do we want to do? Yeah, let's see what kind of crazy-ass houses these people are going to build. I'm going to do some resi of the Denshul. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to make you residential. And then we're going to make you commercial. And we're going to think about maybe bulldoze. Oh, we don't want to bulldoze everything that exists. Or do we? I think we might want to bulldoze everything that exists. Well, we'll work on that for the time being. So over here, we're going to keep this as kind of like our low wealth area of town, maybe? No, they're building better things already. So we've got medium wealth residential demand. So it's going to be harder to build over here, so we'll make this more of our... That doesn't make any sense, Slack. We're going to keep that as poor. We're going to upgrade things over here. So to upgrade land value, you want to add parks and things, and it does make sense since I've already add, started adding parks. So these guys, these guys need a tennis court. Yep, tennis court, and now it's going to go right here. So sorry if I ruined your houses, but that's that. So we've got that going on, we've got some more people moving in over here. Did we finish zoning? No, we didn't quite, did we? Um, I really want to replace this with the main road, but it's just going to ruin everything. Have I got enough to do it? I probably have. I should probably do it now as well before people get too excited about things. Yep, let's do it. Let's be positive. So we're going to pause it up. Because this is going to look pretty darn drastic by the time we've finished. Oh, look at that. It takes out so much, but it's got to be done. Sorry, people. Oh, ouch. That hurts. Then we're going to switch back to roads and we're going to put a medium density avenue in. that goes all the way up. It doesn't go all the way up here. Why not? It draws through placed buildings. Oh, it's the park. So, we're going to have to bulldoze the park as well. This is going to be expensive. Yeah. And we've got an abandoned building as well. 
What is that? And one pile of rubble. Oh, and some of the settlers. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, so I was trying to make a road. Come on, Slack. Roads overlap? That's kind of the point. You're joking. So it goes up to there quite happily. But then it won't... Come on, you've got to link up with this, this road. That's the whole point of you. Oh, there we go. That worked. So that works. I'm going to need to replicate this now, basically, though. On this side of town, which means destroying that road. So how much is that actually going to cost? Quite a lot. Yeah, so can I actually just draw over that road? Apparently not. <laughs> well, let's see. While we're making those drastic changes, I suppose do it now, I'm telling myself, <laughs> and get it out of the way than it is to have to do it later when we're that much further on. Sorry, people. Yeah, that's that gone. There we go, that's better. Boom! So now we've got some proper roads in this place. Proper roads up in this mother. Low density street and whack you on that. So then I've got some space for coal storage later. And we've got ourselves a proper little bit of stuff going on. So let's get back into the zoning and see how people are going to react to this horrible event that has befallen them. <laughs> Luckily, they don't seem to be too unimpressed. Zones. So we're now going to have some commercial stuff. I'm going to do it down here. We're going to have commercial in here. Yep. And then, um, are we going to have people living opposite the shops rather than other stuff? Industry down here, or it can be connected to the main road. And then some housing here, which we might end up deleting. But the time being, it can stay. I don't know any of that. No. I might be able to put park there or something. Cool. So we've got better roads. Roads being the foundation of pretty much everything you need to be doing in this game. I really want to connect that up, but I don't, I don't know if I can. I might have to delete it all at some point anyway. Let's see if we can. What is that? That's a coal mine. We're going to build a thing there. I said, no, no, no. Leave that alone, Slack. Leave that alone. There's only a bit of commercial down here as well. And are we going to clog up this main road with commercial? Yeah, we are. Look at that. After banging on about not doing it, he's gone and done it. So make this a bit more residentially. Yep, 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 yep. Good. So we could do with maybe a bit of commercial in here, couldn't we? Dezone that. And just give you a bit of shopping space. Because everybody needs shops. But then we don't want to build too much along. Come on. along the main road so people can access things and do stuff. Yeah, then we're going to put some along here as well. But not too far back because we're going to have Maxis Manor in there somewhere. 
Alright, so we can have some residential here. And then... I think we're good for zoning then. I don't want to zone them because the industry is going to push progress onto this side of things. Righty. Oh, I think we're getting there, guys. I think we're doing fairly well. So then... I want to connect that up at some point, but... What do you want? 10,000. Achieves, achieves everywhere. Go away, achieve. Go away. Uh, do I address means and crimes? Bless your card. Go evil. Crime pays go evil. Build a tower for Dr. Vu. Um, I don't really want to do that, but I don't have any option to click other than OK, so... So, let's see how our city's going to cope with this influx of people. It's not. So, I think it's time for a better power station. How much is that road going to cost me now? Yeah, so we're going to have a coal power station at some point. The grid says there. How much is it actually going to cost? Um, oh, it's not going to tell me, is it? Why aren't you going to tell me? So a massive road down the back is going to cost like 20 grand. That could work. How are we doing? Have we paid off our bonds yet? Uh, we have, we have paid off our bonds, but we want to stay away from bonds and not go too much near James Bond. So, do you know what? I think we're actually going to leave it there. I think we're going to call it today, and we're going to come back another time, because that's going to require some thought. So, there's Minecraft here, guys. Look at it. We're getting some bigger buildings. We've zoned in some other stuff. We've been Improved our coal mining, uh, although it's closed and we need power. And we've got some people moving in. We've built a new suburb. So there's some people living up on the hill. Look at you guys. You just want to look down on everyone, don't you? That's why you live up here. So this is Sergeant Slack from Banana Bomb Productions saying thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you did, and I will catch you next time. Ta-ra.